that is the total revenue tax as we have studied up till now that the consumer demand is explained through the direct demand function and it can also be expressed through the inverse demand function then what is the utility of inverse demand function as we have studied already that it provides the opportunity to the entrepreneur or to the businessman or to the producer to assess the change in the price caused by the change in the quantity demanded so keeping in view that particular condition and including the responsiveness of the commodities to the price change we can now assess that what is the significance of the elasticity of the demand as the elasticity it measures the responsiveness of the quantity demanded to the price change so we see that the producer they are always in the want to enhance not only their output rather they want to improve their revenue and revenue will always be in a position not only to cover their cost rather minus cost that will provide the profit to the entrepreneur तो कोई भी बिजनेसमैन प्रोड्यूसर और द एंटरप्रेन्योर जब भी इस चीज को देखेगा तो वो अपना टोटल रेवेन्यू एनहांस करना चाहे एंड नाउ व्हेन वी से द टोटल रेवेन्यू इट मींस दैट इज इक्वल टू द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ द कमोडिटी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय दैट प्रोड्यूसर सप्लाइड इन द मार्केट एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय द प्राइस जो कि मार्केट प्राइस है तो अगर हम कहें तो प्राइस इनटू क्यू ऑफ द मार्केट इट विल बी द टोटल रेवेन्यू तो नाउ कंसीडरिंग दिस वी हैव स्टडीड अप टिल नाउ इंडिविजुअल डिमांड फंक्शन व्हेन वी टोटली एग्रीगेट द इंडिविजुअल डिमांड फंक्शन वी कम अप विद द मार्केट डिमांड फंक्शन सो लाइकवाइज द कंज्यूमर्स डिमांड फंक्शन द मार्केट डिमांड फंक्शन इट and tells all the factors that we have already studied that the market demand of a commodity it depends upon the its own price it depending on the price of the other goods and at the same time it depends upon the income of the people who are going to purchase this so when we are having market demand curve on the basis of the individual demand curve from this market demand curve we can calculate the total market demand of that commodity and then how this market demand can give any type of direction or the policy to the entrepreneur so the entrepreneur can calculate the expected total revenue utilizing this demand function and utilizing the concept of price elasticity of demand so we can see that if a commodity is elastic it means the commodity is elastic is having the higher responsiveness to the smaller price change so it means the relative change in the quantity demanded is more in response to the smaller change in the price so if this is in the market scenario then the entrepreneur they must ensure that the small price increase it will cause more reduction in the quantity demanded so when there will be the larger reduction in the quantity demanded it means their product that will be kept mostly in the form of inventory and people they will not demand more and when that will not be purchased more then the total revenue of that producer it will decline so this price elasticity it gives a complete policy line to the entrepreneur to decide about their price mechanism that up till which level they can have the change in their price mechanism so when is there is commodity 
whose elasticity we can say inelastic or relatively inelastic or we can say their responsiveness to the change in price is less than infinity but it is less than 1 so it is when it is the steeper curve we can say that whatever will be the change in the price either it can be increase or either it can be decrease we can say if there will be small decrease in the price but that small change decrease it will enhance their consumers demand but not in that much quantity mean price decrease will be more but response in the quantity demanded that might be in the in the form of increase but that increase will be less and their total revenue will decline so consumers have a behavior that should be studied by the entrepreneur and entrepreneurs they will decide that any type of this small price decrease will reduce their total revenue so they should be very careful in that because in this form the consumer they will reduce their demand so a price increase and if there is any type of the price increase this price increase can be of any but that will increase the total revenue because due to this price increase now the consumer they have to reduce their demand but that reduction that will be of very nominal amount as a response to this price due to the less elasticity or the more inelastic nature when there is unit elasticity it means whatever there will be the change in the price that change will be responded by the change in the quantity demanded so either there is increase or either there is decrease in the price it leaves the total revenue unchanged because the change in price is totally offset by the change in the quantity demanded if price will increase then that will be responded by the decline in the quantity demanded and if price will decrease that may be increased so entrepreneur has to decide their price mechanism policy keeping in view the nature of the commodities.